up next generations sky shadow Hello everybody, welcome to another Transformers and Stuff Review. I'm Atul Ayasar and you're watching Generations Sky Shadow. Yes indeed, this is a review long ago uh, I should have done him. But I decided to do him today because I have some spare time. So, uh, I will show you very quickly um, why this um, recolor and remolding of the Thunderwing mold is better. And I'll just go through it as quickly as I can with transformation because you already know it and seen it with the Thunderwing. Um, so what is changed be uh, beside the color is is a chest plate. It got remolded and of course all the colors and his head is a remold and not a totally new head, which is very awesome and very menacing. Um, articulation is just as the same as on Thunderwings, the 360 head. Shoulders, swivel, elbow, um, no waist, legs all over the place um, with the knee joint and the moving feet. Everything is there. Now, this color works a lot better than Thunderwing's um, color. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the red and the black look um, better um, than that pale, gr uh, pale gray um, with the green and um, and gold. Um, of course, I will show you a comparison between the two. But all in all, this color looks much better, um, especially with that cool head and great lead piping. Just you have, just as you seen in the openings, um, it retains the same gimmicks as um, the original mode. Um, just like I said, with a different color. Um, yeah, so again, the details on the chest are awesome. The colors fit very well. Um, no mold degradation, or maybe there is. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Um, this mold is much better than... I'm sorry, this guy is better, again, due to the colors and remolding of the head. But it retains some problems. Um, this most of the areas that are problematic is here uh, this entire joint where the feet are attached where the legs are attached to is very loose it doesn't stay in place it always wobbles and the entire chest crotch piece again it does not connect to anywhere so again it always moves and it's, it's very annoying but if you can see past that um, this is a great figure. Again, same problems with the, the, these uh, shoulder cannons. They are the same um, flexible material, but not too much um, rubbery. But they do enable, um, disable the movement of the shoulder a bit because they interact with the wing. Um, that's all I have to say about him. I love it. I like this color again a lot. The gimmicks on the guns work. You can fire them. You can hold them. You can combine the two. All the good stuff that you know. Um, quick comparison between the two. Here they are. Even one next to the other, you obviously see that this guy is a lot uh, more colorful and looks. Uh, I'm sorry, stands out. Okay, this guy has more colors in him, but this guy looks much more solid. Um, although, I don't see any reference or homage to any other uh, previously uh, named robot. As for this guy, it was supposed to be an homage to the G1 uh, Pretender. So, quickly with transformation, and we'll continue with his alt mode. Transformation is uh, very simple. Just like thunder wings, let's remove the guns quickly. What I like to do is to twist his palms like this, and you will see why in a while. We close down the feet, <coughs> close out the feet. Sorry, entire chest and crotch area 
pull up a bit. I'm sorry, but something better. Take this chest plate over his head and then pull this up. Now the legs, this joint, um, pull inside like this. Now tilt the knees, close this piece and take the knees back up. That's it with this part. Now this goes all the way over his head. Now I turned his palms like this so when he is in his um, plane mode you won't see his his fists um, exposed. That's why. Just turn this like that and that's it. Okay so we're done with his fists and hands. Now to the back we take this part up, take the entire wing section down and just unfold this entire piece. Now you have here two pegs and two holes on his legs and they should attach. This will give it give you a more stable uh, backside of the plane of the jet mode. And lastly, take the entire canopy part and just push it down and click like this. The wings you can um, fold them in or keep them folded out. For some reason mine doesn't want to close all the way, I don't know why. Again, it could be mold degradation or just um, quality control over mine. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just open the fins, you can take his guns, put them here, like this, one and two. You have here landing gear on his legs, you can pull them up, and here in front. Now, there he is in his very cool jet mode. Again, the colors really fit very well, the black with the red and silver stripes all over the body, and for that the paint apps look very great, the details again stay the same and are very visible. And the clear red canopy is just wonderful. You can see everything inside. Very cool. Of course, just like Thunderwing, you can remove this little drone. And he retains the same colors as the plane with the black, um, the red canopy and this stripes here. Very nice gimmick. Again, very cool. And that's him in his jet mode and like I said when you look down you won't see his fists because we just turn them like this and again you can move his uh, shoulder pads but if you leave them like that it looks very very menacing and very cool and again you can open his wings just a quick uh, comparison to Thunderwing and continuing and now we have Thunderwing with us in the shot and as you can see, even in his plain mode, um, Sky Shadow stands out much better than the original mold. Again, because of the colors, these are these colors pop out much better than this dull gray. Even though there are some cool stripes with the the blue here and the orangey canopy. What can I say? This these colors just looks better to me. Um, the only thing I regret is the thing is that for some reason he has no uh, fraction symbols which could have been very nice if you if you could have had if you could have had um, I don't know a purple Decepticon symbol here or a silver one on his body. I don't know maybe I will put one on him. Anyhow um, this is a very recommended highly recommended figure if you don't have the chance to get this one just get that one, it is much better, and this is my opinion on that. And I've tried to make this as quick as I can and as in, as informative as I can. So, I hope you like this review, guys. Um, continue watching my reviews, uh, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, if you want to see more reviews from my friends also on, my, in, on our Facebook page, WTR Squad, just follow the link below and we'll wait for you over there so thank you guys and see you on my next review goodbye